Hey there, Meg's here. How's everyone doing today? So, I thought I'd come and show you guys some things I was working on and make sure I'm in frame like always. I hope uh, my new mat isn't making a little glare or anything, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to jump into it. So, um, I want to start making the videos that I came on YouTube to make. Instead of just sharing stuff, I want to make stuff. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm really just loving making a frem loving making ephemera right now. Like, uh, I, you guys, I had the baby four months ago, almost five months ago now, and I just got in this like funk. You know what I mean? Like just a funk where every time I go to craft, I spend hours and hours taking stuff out and surrounding myself with all the things I think I need. And then I get super overwhelmed because I have all of the stuff I want to use around me. And I, a lot of the times, to be 100% honest with you, I don't use any of it. And I sit there and then I end up having to go because the baby's crying or I ran out of time. And I look at the clock and it sometimes, I'll be honest with you, it's been hours. Like, and it's very frustrating, you know, and it can put you in a funk. So... Um, that block kind of left me and I was able to create a little bit. I stepped back from my craft. I've been working on that sewing journal for ages that I've been showing you guys bits and pieces of here and there. And, um, I had to take a step back from it, you guys, because sometimes that's what you need to do. Um, if you're just starting out, remember that, please. Um, if you start doing a project and you're getting stuck don't feel like you have to scrap it and throw it away because you hate it or don't feel like you have to sit and just make anything even if it's crap just to you know get through it if that makes any sense you can step back you can leave your craft do something else or just take a break and hang out with your family or shop or do something else take a few days if you need to and just come back to it it's okay so that's what I did and then I was able to create not a bunch of stuff but cute things for my sewing journal and I, I and um sorry and I I'll show you those and then I also want to get into um some book page ideas I've been seeing that um thrown around in different channels lately and it took me way back to like the first video I saw um of course I can't remember it now because I'm on the spot but I will link it below or I'll try to find it and link it below um it was like 2014 maybe or 15, it was a long time ago, and it was, um, of course, I can't remember her name, but she was sharing um, what you can do with book page images, and um, I recently saw that, and I used to do that, you know, and then I kind of stopped doing that for a minute, and it just brought me back when I saw Miss Anne's channel on A Colorful Life. She was open, opening up Happy Mail and stuff, and she had these beautiful book pages and images. And I had already thought of the idea to make this video. I already had it set up and everything and cut my pages out. And when she showed those images, I was like, oh my gosh, that just, you know, like solidifies that I have to make this video. <laughs> um you know, there's so many things you can do with book pages, and, sorry if I just hit the camera, um, it's not just book pages, and it's magazine images, it's images from stickers, or cutout images from a calendar, the point is, you don't have to have the latest, um, I almost said like ephemera cutter, <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to have an ephemera cutter, because I don't. Uh, you don't have to have the latest die cuts. You don't have to have an expensive Gemini or die cut machine or whatever. You can make your own, you know. You can do it simply and easily from beautiful images that you can get out of the bin from the thrift store. You know, just look around. So, first of all, I did that, and I want to show you what I made with them. So, um, this is out of, this was a book called... Patchwork Quilt. Um, let me grab the book. This is a very old book from my dear friend. Let me just stand up and make sure I'm in the frame. Um, this is very old. You see it's very, very worn and torn. <laughs> and um, But it's a very old book and it's got 
wonderful tales in it. I mean, just look at the love this book has seen. Somebody taped it because they loved it so much. You know, you can tell that's old tape. And it's just fallen apart. And she's like, do you even want this? You know, you know, could you use it? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Look at that image. You know, the three kittens. I think there's Benjamin bunnies in here. The three little pigs. And they're just stunning, vintage, beautiful images. Little Black Sambo. Um, look at this. Peter Rabbit. I thought it was Benjamin Bunny. I don't know what I was talking about. Peter Rabbit. And then the three little kittens. And as I told you guys, the sewing book I'm making is it's sewing and cats. <laughs> so I'm combining the two themes. Um, I love watching like Gail. I always talk about her. I know it. it's a weird obsession. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help. It's not weird. It's just, I, I just love the way she crafts. Um, Gail and also, um, Tsunami Rose or, um, uh, Artie Mays. Uh, I could go on and on, you know, um, all these wonderful crafters that inspire me. It's, they, they do beautiful work, but they don't always... Um, what I admire about them is that they just take their stuff and they just make ephemera and then they'll make like mass quantities of it. Who does the mass ephemera? Um, I'm jumping around, but let me just think for a second. Oh, gosh, I was just watching her. She's an Aussie who lives in Italy. Oh, it's not Artie Mays. Um, oh, it's going to kill me, you guys. Oh, it's going to kill me. Wow. Of course I can't think of it. Ra I think her name's Rachel. Oh, I cannot believe I can't think of her name. It's just because I'm on camera. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll, you know, I'll remember, of course, when this video's over. <laughs> I, I love her. I should know her name because I, I or who she is because I absolutely love watching her and I've been watching her for a very long time. Anyways, it'll come to me in a moment. But all of these women, my point is, rambling so much, they can make these beautiful items and then or, or ephemeras and they make them in quant mass quantities and then they put them in a box and they just reach for them when they're making a journal and my it's not a problem but my thing for me maybe because I'm kind of a noob still is that um I tend to do themes and it's uh, mainly I'll tell you why well I do like the whole theme idea but also um when I was doing orders before I got pregnant I'm going to move you a little bit um I was getting orders for books and stuff, and I was selling, and everybody was asking for a specific theme. Sorry, I'm trying to get you right. And um, so that kind of just stuck with me. And then I was when I was buying and purchasing things, it was themes, you know. So I was buying and um, hoarding. <laughs> no, I was uh, collecting sewing themes and cat themes and dog themes and you know, the books I had were like vintage fashion and butterflies and flowers. You get the point. And so I just started making books that way. Like this is going to be all butterfly. This is going to be all fairy, which I haven't made a fairy, but I do have all the fairy stuff because I was going to make a fairy and I still will. You, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I was buying in themes. And so therefore, when I go to make a journal, I pick a theme, I get all the stuff out and I usually run with it. I think my very first junk journal, which was Miss Anne's, from A Colorful Life. Um, she made a video on it. I'd love for you to go watch it. <laughs> it was my very first big, fat, huge junk journal, and I didn't pick a theme. It was just a, a personal, real junk journal with all kinds of stuff in it, vintage and not vintage, and stuff that she loved, and things that I love, and it was cats and canning, and her bike was, I, you know, made sure I added her bike and her favorite snacks, and, um, the things I love, like sewing buttons and vintage things and laces, and it was all of the things. And I kind of lost, not lost that, but somewhere along the way in the last year, probably, I just have been sticking to themes instead of being free, um, like I see so many of my fellow crafters doing. And I want to get back to that, really. But the other thing is that I'm, I'm making a lot of gifts or... Um, I have requests, and um, and it's usually a, a particular theme. Where am I getting with this? Or where am I getting at with this? I don't even know. <laughs> I lost my whole train of thought. <laughs> I had the whole thing planned out, you guys, and it went to shit in a handbasket. 
I'm sorry. Yes, I said a bad word. I won't start cussing a bunch. I'm sorry. But that was, it just seemed like the only word available at the moment. <sighs> okay, you guys. I hopefully I still have the few subscribers that I love and have. <laughs> I think I'm getting like nine views a video, but that's okay. You nine people are my heroes and I love you. Oh, and you forgive me for this crazy stuff. Anyways, wherever I was going with that, I'm sure it, you know, made sense to me at some point. Um, it'll come to me. But anyways, this is my junk journal. <laughs> I'm still doing the patchwork. I'm sorry. I'm goofy. And, okay. Um, so this is from the patchwork quilt. And I just made, like, a little, uh sewing card, or a little file folder card. It has a little notch in it. And this is a vintage, um, I got this from the dollar store. Or the dollar store. Oh my god, I'm losing my freaking mind, you guys. I got this from a, um, garage sale. Um, it's a tin for a dollar. And it was filled, well, I put these ones in it, but it was filled with these vintage cards, because, and they're definitely vintage. I can smell them. And they're very, like, if you bend this, it cracks, see? Like, yeah. And the person running, see how old that is? The person running the garage sale was probably, like, 90. Um, yeah, so. And I'm not being sarcastic. I actually know the family there, and she was. It was the great-grandmother, so, yeah. Um, so these are just old cards, and um, they're really beautiful, and this tin is awesome. So, I got that, and so I took one of the cards, and I put a little eyelet in it, did my little um, inking, of course, I put some Rick Racks, and then this is from the book, and then this is a beautiful image from the book that I loved, and um, I probably should have showed you, showed you this after, you'll understand in a moment uh, why wow, this is important to what I'm going to show you. My point is taking pictures, or you know, images from the book, and you can cut them wherever. Now, this was a big picture, and I don't know where the rest of it is, but it was, you know, as big as that book, and there was so much more. It showed the whole quilt, which was, like, really big, and there was another couple more children and everything else, and I just took a little tiny square and just cut it off, and it still looks so beautiful, and then I just put some this was actually in the bin and I just took that out of the top of the bin and put that on there with some that um, with that <laughs> you know um, yeah and then I did I took my oh my goodness my cardboard and just inked it up sorry I just shook ya and just did my little stamping on there, like that. Um, that's a Gale thing, I learned that from Gale. Put that on there, and then this, just put some tape, and then it says, with love in every thread. And then I just got this little, this is actually a, um, it says, made with love, and on the ball pin, and that's, um, what is that called? It's like a... It's to keep your place when you're sewing. I forget what they're called. So yeah, there's that. So that's a cute little journaling card. And then this is like a perfect example of what I'm going to show you. This is from a book, and this is one book page, and I did not want to cut it up. I thought it was gorgeous. As you can see, it's a sewing uh, image of a sewing machine. And so what I did, I believe this one I saw from uh, my girl that we just did the inspirational craft along about um, oh, hold on a second did I just mess that up I'm so sorry you guys give me a second I'm so sorry I'm trying to fix this now that I'm showing you <laughs> treasure books I'm sorry where was I saying okay Natasha from treasure books um, was making these and I made one during that week I did her inspiration I was gonna show you guys this and I didn't because I didn't have a chance to film you know with the kids being crazy and all it's been really hectic you guys I'm telling you but isn't that beautiful it's just a beautiful image I sewed around the edges and I folded it into thirds so you still have that beautiful image on the front and then I just put two breads 
And JC does not stand for Jesus Christ in this instance. It stands for my friend's name. Her first name's Janet, and that's her last name. And then I just took some cording, and it was supposed to go around the whole thing, but it I cut it too short, so I just wrapped it around like that. And yeah. Okay, now I can't get it, but yeah, it turned out so cute. And I just love it. So now I got her little initials down there. And it's like a little book that I can put in the journal. And it has a beautiful image on it. And see, you don't have to go buy... This is just from a book that I had that was from the scrap, a sewing book. And, you know, you can make beautiful things with book pages. So, that's the second one. And then this is a little book I made. And this isn't a book page image, but this is from an old sewing McCall's sewing, um, you know, sewing pack, pattern pack, and um, the rest of it was ripped, and she was the only one that ripped on that one, so I just fussy cut it her out, and look how adorable, and that's just some, that's a label that I stamped onto, I stamped sew with my stamp, I just put the letters together, and then... This is some vintage um, fabric, and it does fray really easy, so I cut it out, put it on, and then I hit it with some, um, just on the corners where it was fraying a lot, I hit it with some fray check, because you don't want it to, it started to fray like bad. So I just hit it on the corners there, so it's just a little tip, if it's fraying too much and you want it to stop, you can just do a little thin line or just on the corners like I did. And then, yeah, and then this, I think, came from a Tim Holtz ephemera pack, that little thing, um, whatever that is. And then, as you can see, like, I put the, like, line around her, and I put this on there, this little tab. And then just some vintage seam binding um, lace and some regular uh, trim. Um, but, yeah, what I was going to say is, if you want to make an image stand out like that, um, I got this... Um, this is the Stabilo All Pencil. Um, this is the, the Aqua one. I don't know if they're all the same, but this is the one I love so much. And I don't actually use it with water. I used to, but it smears everywhere for me. I don't know if it's just me. I don't use it right. What I use with it, of course, I'm not going to be able to find it at the moment, is the tiny, it's just like this, Make a brush. It's a makeup brush. I think it's an um, Elf or whatever that cheap brand is. It's like smaller than this, but this is the shape that it is. I think it was a Wet n Wild or something. Shaped just like this, but just imagine it tinier. So it's like real thick and sturdy, but just shorter and tinier. Just a tiny little brush. And I take my Stabilo pencil, and I actually used it in some... Um, uh, Gosh, can I talk today? What is this? Gesso. I used it on some gesso. And what I do is I let it dry out onto the brush. Not tons. Just dry out onto it. And then I flake it off a little. So it just has the faint amount of dry gesso on it. Just a faint amount. Then I go in and I rub. I kind of messed up right there, but that's okay. And I rub the image. Dry brush with the dry gesso. Just a tiny bit of it on there. And I rub around where I put that all pencil and if you can even see it on camera I don't know um, but it leaves the it leaves like a white glow around the pencil it rubs in the pencil really good but it also puts like a white glow around that and it just makes it stand out that much more and as I'm looking at it on the camera first of all I can see my mat is leaving this weird reflection but there's glass under it so that's even worse because of the light so Hopefully it's okay and not bothering you. I'm sorry. Next time I'll put something down. Um, but anyways, I've been on this cover for a long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want you to know my little tricks. Um, I promise you in person it looks even cooler. But it just leaves that white faint line. So you just take it with the dry gesso and you just rub it. And you rub around. And I understand I didn't put a light source in here because I did it all around her instead of just at the bottom. But I think it looks really good to add, um, you know, like make them stand out sometimes, whatever you put in the front. So anyways, that was like an hour long to tell you that, but you know. So here's the book. Um, 
<laughs> this is a Mrs. Cog's uh, ephemera piece. Isn't that so cute? I was sewing with sewing wasn't cool. Got some tape, washi tape. That's a stamp. I just did it in the um, Victorian Velvet Oxide. And then I just, um, he's got a, like a sewing ball, but I just added some thread and a button because she loves cats. Remember, it's cats and sewing. And then, of course, I didn't have my glasses on, so I wrote like a two-year-old. But um, it says, you're so special, so I just put her name. And then, love Meg. And then a, that. And then this is just some avocado and coffee stained paper. And then for the outside, I did use some thick 110-pound paper. Um, just the coffee dyed paper. I stamped that image on the top. That has all the sequins sewn into it. That's a, um, I'm like an applique I won't say the word I was going to say, but I really love appliques. Look at the the shimmer. It looks so cool. Because if you look at it in person, you can't really see the rainbow that it's showing on camera. Because I'm looking in the lens right now. That's so cool. Or in the camera. In person, it just looks kind of boring. But with the lights on it, it's really rad. I love that. Um, yeah, it just goes on. It's just a plain little book. Coffee dyed paper and some, you know little things on it so she can write in here. Just simple little things you can make to really stand out in your book. Um, in the back I put this little lace piece that I cut out the edges a little bit and then I put this little button card and on the back <laughs> I was actually just playing with some stuff I hadn't played with in a while so this old stamp I hadn't used in a while I colored it with an old marker I hadn't used in a while and then I hadn't used the pearls oh my gosh those um, what are they called Perfect. I don't know what they're called. I call them pearls from Ranger. I mean, gosh, they've been sitting there forever, months. I haven't used them in probably a year. So I just played with them, and it left the coolest texture. And, yeah, it just feels really cool. And I just put that right in there for her to find. And then I added this stamp that I love. That looks like one of her cats, by the way, which is adorable. And if you don't like cat hair, leave eat sleeper which is something that's really funny I think she would say something like that um and that's it oh and then this was that mushroom I stamped the other day if you watched my uh, haul video from Etsy on that beautiful fabric that Miss Karen gave me isn't that gorgeous oh, and that's the stamp I got from uh Wawa Stationery and then my friend that I'm giving the journal to she actually gave me these tiny little um um spools and I just wrapped because I did sew this in and I just wrapped it around the spool and glued it on and then there's some mini sequins on here that you can't really see I'm probably going to add you know all the way down I just didn't know if that's what I wanted to keep on there or not and then I just put this little lace hair tie around it and I figured you know that's good enough so yeah that's cute isn't it I love it I'm sorry I spent like an hour showing you guys that. Um, okay, so let's get into it and maybe we'll have time to make something. Because uh, it is it's early morning here and I'm expecting everybody to wake up. Um, so here's just some images I got. Let me get these books out so I can show you. I'm sorry, I thought I had them. Of course, I don't know where I put them. Just give me one moment. Uh, doo -doo -doo. things have been stressful that's why I'm not really prepared I've been a little bit um, I don't have like postpartum like you know I just had the baby I'm looking for the book while I'm chatting <laughs> um, what was I saying I don't have like postpartum or anything but I've been having the blues lately and not to be super down I, I don't want to watch down videos but um just being real with you like it's just been a bummer like my oldest son's leaving and I told you he's in the Air Force like a thousand times but I just he's never left and well he left when he was in the school but uh military school he went to but it just breaks my heart you know because he just had a baby and I he's never been out of state before and oh god he's gonna be in Texas and I'm up here in Michigan and my heart is just melting into little pieces it's just killing me and I don't want him to know that because I'm trying to be strong but it's so hard you guys I don't understand I just can't deal <laughs> uh, I just know that it hurts him because he had a baby so oh 
Anyways, that and I have teething baby going on and terrible twos going on and teenage life with my third son going on and it's just been crazy. And all of that and we are putting our house up for sale soon because we are finding our forever home. And what is exciting is that we have looked at some houses. I think I already blab blabbered this to you guys, but some of the houses we found are just that we can actually get and afford. And, like, it's exciting because we worked really hard for this. And they're gorgeous. And they're, like, it, it's like a dream come true. But you know how stressful it is? We don't even know if we're going to sell our house. We're not going to budge on, you know, what we're selling it for because it's going to be a great deal. And there's a chance nobody will buy it. I mean, it's almost winter, winter here, too, in Michigan. And that's crazy. So... All of these things factor in, and it's just very stressful, especially with a new baby and a two-year-old who has some serious behavior issues going on right now. <laughs> okay, so now that I've vented to you my whole life story, let's get into this. It feels good, though, you know? It feels good to be able to release, I guess, you know, and just talk, because I don't, I don't have a lot of friends. Not like I'm friendless. I do have friends, but I don't talk to a lot of people, and... I certainly don't get out much <laughs> with anybody. Um, so it's just nice to get it off your chest, you know what I mean? Um, so anyways, blah, 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 this is what I was saying. This was, um, okay, it's from the book. So this is the second time I tried to film this. Uh, I filmed again and the battery was dead, so yeah. So this is a book that is lovely for images. I don't know the name of it. Oh, somebody's number's on it. I got it at a thrift store. Um, it's called A Treasury of Poems. For A Treasury of Poems. Or, oh, A Treasury of Poems. <laughs> and then it's just poems with um, just really lovely images. Like, look at these images. And in Treasure Books, the Treasure Books video that I was watching, um, she was suggesting, like, you can just take an image and cut it anywhere on the image like not just cut out this but just say you cut out like this and like half of it or something and it would look really plain and boring you know if you just cut out like half of that in a table that's not going to look like anything but if you back it and I don't have an example just go to her video I'll link it below if you back it onto something like um fabric and then you put lace around it and then you sew around it and then you put a little embellishment on the top of it like um, a flower or a stamp or something it turns into a whole other thing and it's it's really phenomenal it's a great idea and I'm sure she's not the first one to come up with it but the way she does hers I haven't seen her, the, uh, anybody do them like her so you should check that video out I'll show you it's a really inspirational video and inspired me to make this it's one of them that inspired me to make this video um, so yeah like this I thought would be a great one for her and again I can just fold it up into thirds like like this one and give it to her like that and I can back this with some lined paper so she can just journal on that like I did in this the other one or I can cut out that kitty on the porch which would be a cute idea and I could put it on you know some something like fabric or a piece of cardboard and then some fabric and then sew around it put some lace, you know, zhush it up a little bit. So those are some images from that book. These are just great. And then you can always just cut out the poem if you really like the poetry or whatever, the saying or whatever. And I would say this one page can either be one folded page like that, like the one I showed you, or it could be several images like right there. Um, you could do like right here, right here. It could be several, you know. Um, so that's just a little... Uh-oh, I got crying babies. That's just a little flip through of that. Several beautiful images. This is a great book. It's called Ideas. And look at this. This would be a beautiful, beautiful picture to do. I mean, look at these images. Oh, I got a crying baby. See, this is why it's hard to make videos. I'll come to with a part two. But I just wanted to show you some examples. Look at that. I did end up, um, maybe I'm too loud. Look at that image. Is that not beautiful? 
I mean, that is gorgeous. I would not want to cut that at all. And this is perfect. I'm going to use this for Halloween. I love that. Gorgeous. They're just beautiful works of art, and they're, like, textured. Look at this one. Now, this is one I don't even want to cut it, but you could cut out right here and make an image here. I'll show you an example of that. I know I'm all over the place. I just I just want to come to you with some ideas and just see you guys, really. I really want to get bigger and make more videos and craft, but it's just I do what I can. So here's one that's a beautiful image that I folded. I just want to show you what it looks like folded. It would be a beautiful little pocketbook like type deal. You could put like, you could cut the edges, sew around the edges, uh, put your little brads here and the twine or whatever you use to wrap it. But you could also put like a strip here and make it look like a purse or something. And this is what your outside would look like. Is that not gorgeous? Then on the inside, you have a beautiful poem that's just an autumn theme. Or, if you don't like that, you could back it with paper and have a beautiful place to journal and just wrap it up in this gorgeous artwork. Isn't that lovely? And I didn't finish it because I didn't know what I wanted to do with this one exactly. And I didn't have a lot of time. But these are ones that I cut out. So here's some examples of just cutting out one picture into several little pieces that you can use as ephemera. I recommend like a size like this because you can do more with it. Now this is just some flowers, right? And then you can back this. Uh, where's the fabric I had? I'm just going to grab some crazy fabric, but <laughs> well, that's too busy. I'm not doing that. Well, you know, you get the point. I had the fabric. Of course I did, but I don't know where it went. So anyways, you can just put it on top of something. You can even do it on top of some cardboard or something. That would be kind of cool, you know, and then put them be or just um, some fabric with some lace and then let's see if I can find some trim. Let's see. Well, this doesn't match. Let's see. Nope, nor does that. You could just put like a little, I don't even know if I have a matching one near me. You could put like a little, um, just this little thing I made out of, out of a little sweater I had. I don't know if it's even a sweater. It was a real thin, I wear really thin baggy overcoats, I guess you could say. They're, no, they're this thin. <laughs> I just love them. They're like the wide sleeves that hang and they're, you know, just comfortable and lightweight. I just love clothes like that. And, um, but it had a huge hole in it. It got s snagged on something and it was irreparable. So, um, I just made this out of it. <laughs> so you could just cut this off or make, you know, a little piece and put it on the front. Put like a little sentiment on the front. Um, let's see what, what we have over here. We can stamp on the front. Something like that. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, but you could put this, you know, just say that's a sentiment. You could put that on there, you know, that would be cute if it said something that made sense. And then, so there you go. You have something adorable, just easy like that. I mean, of course, you could do a lot more than this, but this is just to give you an example, you know. So this video is more to, like, the newer people who don't, you know, don't know exactly where to go with ephemera um, if they don't have a lot of stuff or just some ideas, you know. Here is some little, just show you the kind of pictures you can do. You can do like this size, um, and the same deal, you know, just put it on, um, either an existing thing, or you could, let's see what I got here. I cut this out of a cardboard box, uh, or out of a, um, what was this, it was just a piece of cardboard. I made this long tag, because I wanted it to go into, um, actually, I think I already showed you guys this, but I'm going to make this into a pocket this little vintage um, seam binding thing. So I cut this and made it uh, long enough to fit into the pocket, which we were going to decorate on camera. We will decorate on camera sometime, but see, fits right in there. So cute. So anyways, you could take this and like back it onto something like this. I haven't done my hole yet or anything. But yeah, like you can make this into a tag. You could just cut your things right here so it fits. And there you go, you have a tag. Um, I think it would look better that way. And then, of course, you know, like that. And then, um, here's a, 
just a little flower and see I didn't cut I didn't leave all the petals I wanted to cut it off on purpose because that's the point to do like obscure photos you know um, and then I wish I would have got one done and showed you how they look because um, it really makes a difference when you back it with all the stuff it looks just like absolutely nothing right now but it really can look super cute or it really does look super cute when you put just a random photo like this uh, backed onto some fabric and some lace and all that um, some cute images this was just scrap how pretty though this is just a scrap image of like half of a window but that's cool I love that there's some another one of the cut off flowers there's one of just poetry look at the squirrels I love this it's really cute that's really cute and these two are some of my favorites aren't these gorgeous I love these these would be really cute tags or just put into you know into a book page as like a pocket you could totally make that a pocket with like a big Tim Holtz tag just like cut yourself a big tag like this at a, a cereal box or something and back it like there you go super cute okay so here's one of the the other side of one of the images I cut um, it's just the tree okay so you got the mountain the reflection the bottom of the tree so my idea was just to bend that little part stick it in the book right fold it up like an accordion style do that maybe decorate right here or you don't have to whatever and then when you open the book you just have that and then on the other side lining it with some lined paper or just plain coffee dyed paper and then you have yourself a journaling spot so there you go it's just a pretty little journaling spot and then the other side of the squirrels very cute. That's a, another cute tag. You just do your, you know, cutting right there, your little hole. Back it with some paper or something, either thick cardstock and then some lined paper so you can journal on it. And you have yourself a tag. Something to fill a pocket maybe, or this would make a pocket. But again, an image like this doesn't look like much like this, that's for sure. When you put the lace behind, you put the fabric behind and sew around it. Or, if you don't sew, that's fine. You just put some fabric behind it. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just any fabric will really, really make it come out. Now, let's say we have like a bag or something, a gift bag like this. You can take the tops off. Uh, let's see if I have something to fit this. Um, let's see. Oh, that's cool. The water there. Let's see. A lot of these are just the same page uh, that I had. There's a bigger image. That's a really cool one. I like that. You can make a little envelope out of these. I love this one. I just went off. I'll show you, show you with the bag in a second. Isn't that pretty? I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to use this one. I just haven't decided how yet. And then there's a whole bunch more. But um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Who knows? Let's see. Okay, what if we took this and did like... um cut it a little more and put it like on a bag or something like this you know cut that off maybe put something around the edges something pretty and put some lace around it or something or maybe just a little half doily little mini doily up here on the top cut these off and then you have yourself a pocket that's cute stuff like that so there you go that's just my little two cents about that Oh, that would be, ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's really matchy-matchy, but it's kind of cool. I like that. Just cut that off. That would be really cool for Christmas, right? Oh, I guess not Christmas, because there's still trees, or there's still leaves on the trees. But yeah, that's cool for um, fall. Love it. So yeah, we can make some of those. Uh, maybe not right now, because I think my baby's crying, of course, every time I film. And that's okay. I at least got to share something, you know? Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm listening to see if he stopped. I do have an idea that might be quick.
I'm dying to make something, can you tell? Give me one second. Thank you so much. You beautiful people are so patient and sweet and kind to me and I love you. <laughs> it's like you understand me and you don't judge me and I love that. And if you do judge me, then I guess you could go somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's where I'm at. Okay, let's do a journaling card real quick, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so let's see what I have. It's going to be super quick. Um... Okay, I'm just going to grab a handful of stuff. This is a really, oops, oh my gosh, I'm keeping you. This is a really good way to show you guys, um, if you are in a slump, I learned this from Marami Small Arts, like, sh sh Marta is so smart, and she does these exercises really quick in a nutshell, um, where she just puts 10 minutes on the clock, she grabs just a handful of items, and she just goes for it. She doesn't plan it. And that's kind of what I'm going to do right now, but without the timer, and I know I'm going to make, you know, ephemera. So so I just grabbed a few things. I'm telling you, it really releases your creativity, and it just, you know, helps you not be so whatever about you're going to, so scared about what you're going to create. You just do it. So I'm going to kind of go for that right now. So I have this avocado dyed um, envelope, because it made me think of this when I saw this. And it was just coincidence. So sheer madness. Cheers. Cool. Um, so what am I going to do? I don't know. So since I'm doing the sewing journal, how about we do like, that's the outside. And we'll just decorate the inside. How about that? So let's just see. Going with the book page image theme, or, you know, thing that we were doing. Here's a really cool sewing, from that sewing book, we have this we could use. Or, let's see, I have the picture that I can cut. So let me just cut this out and see if we can use this image really quick. Let me see, I do have some things cut over here already. Um, okay, let's just go with this. This is already cut. It fits. Um, We'll just go with it. I'm just going to go with it, okay? So we'll use that. And so what can we do behind this? We can make this into a pocket. We can put some doily. That's too much pink. Just grab different things, put it behind, see what happens. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, we tried that. Let's just see. Maybe some lace. Maybe some... I'm just grabbing some things around me that are close. Some scraps. This is a good way to use your scraps, ladies and gents. Oh, mm, I don't like that at all. Got some lace here. Do that can work. Let's see. Um, how about a doily? Let's see, got this. I'm just gonna rip the doily. Let's just see. Okay, I can do that. And I think I'm gonna round my edges. I guess I don't have to tell you step by step. You can see your eyeball, right? <laughs> okay. So, anyways, I hope everyone's good. I know every time I get a free second I say that. Because it's true, I really do. I hope everybody's well. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not doing bad. I just think I was just feeling, feeling it for a moment. And that's okay. It's okay to have feelings. I always tell my kids that. It's okay to cry. It's okay to feel your feelings. You know, as long as you're not stuck in it forever, you're good. As long as you can cope, you know, and it's okay to ask for help or to, um, I have these journaling cards. I think these are Musings by Nikki or uh, Christy Art. I'm so sorry, not Musings by Nikki. This is Christy Art. Uh, yep, these are Christy Art designs. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking like a pocket here, decorate it, and then maybe some lace over here, some journaling spot, and then call it a day. We'll see. I do have this one over here. That 
that matches good. Let's just see. I think between this one and this one, that one's kind of cool too. Okay. So, um, I also think I'm going to add some ink. I like to use gathered twigs. I do love vintage photos, my favorite, and it's a lot of people's favorite. But lately I've been on this gathered twigs ink. Most of my inks are um, oxides, but I've been really into this one. Um, as an ink. It, the ink is different than the oxide if you don't know that. Uh, the oxides are more like a chalk, meaning that they're not see-through, I guess you could say. Like these are ear like you can see through it. The chalks are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think right now. Like I never can. <laughs> um, opaque. There you go. They're opaque, meaning you can use them on black paper. And see, I use this on black paper and I can't really see it. But if this was the um, oxide, you could see it on there. There you go. That's the difference. But I love this look with this ink. The gathered twigs color. There we go. <laughs> I can talk, I swear. I'll just use the same color on this. I gotta ink everything. I love ink. I love ink. Miss Gail understands. When I see her ink everything, she's like, oh, I know inking's not fun to watch. I'm thinking, yes, it is. I love it. I love ink. <laughs> it's just, it really makes your picture stand out and your ephemera, whatever you're using, it just really does the job. And it, it just adds so much. That's why I also like to use my Stibolo around images sometimes because it just really makes it stick out more. Okay, let's hope that looks good. If not, okay, so I'm going to trim that on the sides real quick. Where are my skizzies at? Of course, I lost my skizzies. They're around here somewhere, so. Okay, I am allowed to talk like that. I was a Southern Belle once. <laughs> I'm actually from Florida, from the South, but I moved up here when I was around 10. I think I cut it too much. Oh, bummer. Dang it. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to let it go. Um, let me just look. I moved here to Michigan when I was around 11, I think. Oh, that's a long time ago. I can't really remember, but, um, you know, I lost my parents really young and different times. My mom first and then my father uh, some years later and then I ended up living with my grandmother. I'm just going to round that because I don't like how that's poking out. That didn't make sense, huh? <laughs> I thought it would work. That was stupid. Um, there we go. So yeah, just ended up moving with my grandmother and my grandfather, my mom's parents. Um, it was hard. I lost my mom very tragically. And I have three sisters and I had two brothers. Um, I lost a brother growing up too. So I lost my mom, my dad, and my brother. Um, you know, it, was, it wasn't an easy road, but it wasn't all bad. You know, things, good things happen, bad things happen. I lived, I learned. And um, I'm married to my husband to tell you guys about me. And we've been together for 15, over 15 years. We have three beautiful boys together. Two years old. He's almost, uh, our middle son's almost three. He'll be three in October. My, our oldest son is 13. Our youngest son will be five months and two days. And my oldest son is an adult, but I had him um, when I met my husband. He was already a little boy, so. Um, that's okay, I guess. It's not what I would pick, but for time's sake, because I know I have to go, I'm just going to leave it there and build on it. Sometimes you can make beautiful things out of something you don't think is cute, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue that on just to commit. <laughs> I'm going to commit to it, and I'm going to use my uh, glue stick here. Ooh, who's the way to go? Mm, 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 mm. Let's 
Let's see, what else can I tell you guys? Oops, I went on way too high, but that's okay. See, when I'm in a hurry, I always go crazy. What else can I tell you? Um, my husband's an amazing man. He's an amazing father, amazing husband. I used to work, I was in, uh, you know, I worked in home health care, and then I worked also on the side in, um, I loved working at the vintage shop, and and it was just really awesome. I worked at, like, it was like a second-hand boutique store, and um, I actually just stopped working there a couple years ago when I was pregnant with my son because of my health issues. I was diagnosed with RA and all that, and um, it wasn't a reason to stop working, but I was pregnant, and it was just a whole mess of a situation. It was just bad on top of bad. And I got to where I couldn't barely even move and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to get into all that any more than that. But, you know, and now that we have our boys that are little, it's like I wanted to go back to work. But I didn't have like a high paying career or anything. Um, I didn't finish school. So, I mean, not like you have to finish school to have a career. I'm not saying that, but basically that's where I'm at. I wanted to do nursing and blah, blah, blah. So, anyways, I just worked at the store and that's as far as I got in my life. Um, and it was great for me. I, I loved it. But um, just having two boys, it would with the money I was making, which wasn't a lot, it would cost way more than what I was making or just as much as I was making to put my boys in daycare. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And then with my health issues on top of it, it just didn't make any sense, you know. Um, for me to go back to work and my husband works more than one job so um, he works very hard for our family and you know he's an amazing man so I'm blessed to be able to stay home with my kids I have to keep it's sad to say I have to remind myself that sometimes but it's I'm just being honest I do sometimes you know and then I feel guilty about it not that I feel like it's it's not good and I don't love it it's just you know it can be very stressful and if it's not something you plan for your life it can be hard. It can be a hard thing, you know. And you start sometimes. I feel like, where am I going wrong? Because <laughs> they are they are such a blessing and they're so precious. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes when you can't, here's what I where I'm getting at. When you can't fix things and you feel like, uh, oh, is this my fault or what am I doing wrong? You know that they're not happy or this isn't working or whatever the case is. Or when your husband works a lot and you're at home a lot by yourself with two little ones, it's hard. I know my kids, my two older boys were, you know, years apart. And, um, and then my 13 year old now, you know, his brother's only three. So he was, you know, over 10 years older than him around 10 years old when he was born. So, or 11, whatever, 10, 11, I can't do math, but <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm just, it, I've never had two littles at once, so this is all new for me. But you know what? In the same breath, I would never give it up for the world. Oh gosh, I just ruined it. I knew I shouldn't have tried to cut it. I'm a terrible cutter. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to cut that white off, but I, I really can't cut good at all. I rely on my cutter, my, um... I call it my slicing board relentlessly because it's just I suck at cutting with scissors so bad and I have like 30 pairs of scissors um, I'm going crazy with this now I should have lightened up a l on this but I have so many scissors trying to get that perfect pair and Tim Holtz was the perfect pair for a while and it just stopped being I still use it but they're great scissors, don't get me wrong. It's just my hand sucks. And then I got these crappy things. I hate the way they feel, but let me tell you, they're in the jewelry department. They cut through anything. Anything. It says it on the package. They cut through anything, and it's so true. But look how crazy they look. They're horrible to hold. But my favorite scissors, of course, I can't find them. They're over there somewhere, are the um, Fiskars, I believe. Hold on. Oh, they're the ones that you just use like this. You know, they don't have the circles, you just, they're flat, and they're the best if you have arthritis or anything. They really are great scissors. Um, and then these, <laughs> and there's more. This is Martha Stewart scissors. These cut really good. I like how small they are. I like to fussy cut with these ones. Okay, so there's that. What can we do to this? 
to dish it out. This is boring. That's a pocket, so let's go ahead and glue that on as a pocket, or do we want to put something behind it? Where are we at with time? I'm talking a lot. Oh, almost an hour, so we can finish this in five minutes, so let's do this. Okay, I see this. I'm just going to grab what I see. I see Rick Rack. Rick Rack's always a good idea. What else we got? Um, hold on. I gotta find it. I know what I'm looking for. Here, let's grab a stamp. I'm I'm looking. I think a stamp, a little piece of fabric, any kind of fabric will do. I'm gonna grab a couple pieces. I think will go with this. Okay, this is what I'm grabbing and this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to... Um, let's see. I didn't want to cover that needle, but I think it needs a little something right there. I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, and then do I want to just put it there or do I want to go all the way around? I think that'll be too much. Yep, so I'm just going to go right there with it. So let's go ahead and glue our pocket on because I'm cool with that. I'm going to just get my Fabri-Tac out and make it fast. I'm just going to glue around my edges. Oh, whoa, way too much glue. Whew. I'm off camera, aren't I? Sorry. Glue that on right there. Okay. There we go. I'm going to glue this bad boy on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Concentrating. I'm trying to hear if they're crying. Oh, cover your ink, girl. And I'm just going to add that kind of at the top and cover up a little bit of that where I messed up on the edge. So there you go, that looks cool. See, but then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to run it down. I'm going to run it down right there to make sure I don't glue it on the back of this. And so this can be a mini file folder. You can make it into one with, two with a piece of paper and just put notches right here. Or you can use an old card fold a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be this. Um, okay, I got these. This is some vintage, like, uh, whatever this is. What is that called? Cotton. I don't know. It's called something and I forgot. I'm going to put this down. This is some lace, obviously. I'm just going to trim that up a little bit. And again, I'm not thinking too much about this. I'm just doing it. I think that'll be good. See how that's different edges? I'm okay with that. It's different. I'm going to put that right there. Layer it. And I don't really like that it's white and cream. I didn't think about that. But this has white and like a cream on it. So that's okay. And then this is the stamp. I have a bunch of stamps over here. So let me see. Got this. Nope. Nope. Uh, I made this stamp from a, no, this isn't a stamp, that's something I cut out myself. I, I made that from um, a stencil and then I cut it. No, it's ugly. An applique might be cute. Oh, that's kind of cute with some lace. I think I can do better with the stamp. I think the stamp will look cute with the little... Um, it's kind of beat up a little bit, but I like that. I'm going to put that on there. And then, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to come in with some, uh, let's see, orange maybe? I got some orange marbling next to me. And I think I'm just going to, hope it's not a mistake, but, oh, uh, there's no mistakes. I'm just going to come in and maybe put some a little bit of orange marmalade here and there <laughs> of my ink. Kind of. Dish it up a little bit. There we go. You can't go wrong with ink. What am I talking about? Oops. Okay. 
so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on how I like it. And sorry, I just feel like it needs a little something. I don't know. I don't like really white lace. I just don't. Okay. Better. Oh, Fabri-Tex doing its weird sticky thing. I'm telling you, this glue could do no wrong in my eyes in the beginning, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> I'm telling you. Straight up. Like, you can, like, of course, when it gets goopy, because it will, you can put a uh, nail polish remover in it, or just plain acetone, which I recommend because it's cheaper. It's you know, you can get a big thing of acetone at Walmart in the painting department for like under six dollars. But it's stupid. It's like, you know, you're paying how much money for this glue? It shouldn't do that. They should come up with a better formula by now, you know? You think they would. Okay, glue this one on. I told you I'm a slow crafter. If I haven't told you now, you know. This is why I haven't crafted yet. Because I've been too afraid. Um, it's just like, I, I, I really am a slow crafter. I, I don't plan things ahead of time. And I just go off the seat of my pants. And sometimes it takes a long time. Most of the times it does. So I've been like, nobody wants to sit through that, you know. <laughs> but I committed to making this channel. And I'm going to make it work. Even if it takes me years, I don't care. So i got to start somewhere. Start crafting on camera. So far, so good. That's cute. Um, I think I'm going to come over here with this, and I'm just going to grab some Rick Rack. I got a couple. I just grabbed these. I don't even know what's going to happen here. Even though I'm working fast, I do want to make sure that's secure. I don't want to want it to come off. So let me see. Add that around the edges. Of course, that's a little busy. Which card am I going to use? Okay, I like this one. I'm going to use that one. And I think I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this here inside of something. Am I going to put Rick Rack down the side? And like make it a tuck spot perhaps? Put that there. Ooh. What if I put this little measly, not sewn very well? <laughs> I tried to make a ribbon out of it, <laughs> out of the, out of it, out of the. Um, oh, that side's the better side. I tried to make like a ribbon uh, out of the pattern paper, but I suck at sewing, so that can work. I like it. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do that, and then I think over here, I am going to put this around the edges. Sorry, I'm thinking, but I feel like that's too plain. Let's see. Too much regret? Is there such a thing as too much Rick Rack? Okay, one more thing. One more time. Let's see. I like this, I guess. And then I'm going to try this. I actually like it. Sorry it took so long. I just, I like the green. I think it's cool. But I really like the white too. <laughs> Or the cream. I'm going to go for the green just to make it super cool. And then on this I'm going to put uh, maybe 
maybe just like a little seam binding or something. Oh, I know. Ta -da. Hold on. It'll come to me. Hold on. I just gotta find it. It's in this mess somewhere. Ooh, I like the gray. It's different. I want the smaller one, like the small rickrack. But I can't find it. Ugh. Okay. Here's some small pink rickrack. I hit the camera, sorry. I can always come back to it. I think I'm going to go for... Oh, wait. I like this one. That's kind of cool. Is that too much? Yeah. Oh, decisions, decisions. This is why I'm bad at this, because I get so many decisions, and I can't decide. I can't make up my mind. That's why. Okay. How about this? I like that. Just like that. Put some green down it, just like that. Let's cut this. I'm going to do it just like this because I don't know if that's how I want it. But I want you to get an idea. Something like that. And then we can take this and go around here. No. This is stupid. I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can handle it around this though. I think it's okay. This is when I wish I edited because I... I know that's hard to watch, and I probably, from, okay, so I went on the analytics or whatever for my videos, and it says that anybody who's watching, is, or it says that most people watch like five minutes of my video, <laughs> and they turn it off, so if you have watched this to this point, give me a shout out and tell me, I, I watched your video, all of it, <laughs> that would be awesome. And if you did, I'm, you know what, if you see this and you write in the comments, I saw it to the end and I look in the duration and it said, and it adds up because don't lie because it'll tell me, <laughs> I'll do a secret giveaway. How about that? This is going to be a secret giveaway for you sticking with me. And since I haven't got to 200 yet, I'm not going to tell you what you won, but it'll be cool. And then I'll pick um, in two days, or not two days, I'm sorry. I'll pick in, mm, I'll give it five days from now. Five days from the day this goes on, because I don't know when it's going to upload. Right now, it's Saturday uh, morning, so it might be Saturday night that this uploads. So I'll give you till Saturday, or how about Friday the end of the week and then I'll look through the comments um, and I'll see if who wrote you know I watched it to the end of your video and we'll see I'll pick randomly from those people and you don't have to say anything else unless you want to and you don't even have to say that if you don't say that I won't put you in it obviously does that make sense? So if you watch this to the end, say, hey, I saw the video to the end. And then I'll check my analytics and all that and see what's up. And then by Friday, I'll look through the comments. If, there, if anybody even wrote anything, I'll be so embarrassed if nobody did. But I'm sure that's a huge possibility. And that's okay. And I'll just see uh, how many people wrote it, if anybody. And then I will randomly choose from those people who actually did watch the whole video. Um, 
Whoever wins, I will announce it on the next video after Friday. Sorry that took so long to get out. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> I'll let you guys know who the winner of the secret giveaway is. I've been wanting to do a giveaway so bad, so it's just an excuse to do a giveaway. Okay. And, you know, I'm really... I, I know I'm kind of hard to watch because I drag things out. Isn't that cute, though? It ends up being adorable. Um, but, you know, I know I always say it, but with time, I know I'm going to get better. I just have that feeling, like... That this is my calling, and even though I'm stumbling right now, it's going to get better. I know it. This is my home. This is where I'm comfortable doing this stuff. It may take me an hour to get to this pocket, but once I get to this pocket, I'm off and running. That's cute, and I can make it cuter. And I know it's not even just about the cuteness. It's about having fun and doing art and just feeling free. Now, I got to unload on you guys, but really it was not just unloading. It was a release. I feel so comfortable and at home and I just feel like I don't feel so alone and I don't know if that I just I feel like there's other like-minded people because let's be honest not everybody in your home even or your best friends or anybody understand you and your love now I have two great friends that understand my passion uh, Laura I love you girl that's my home girl. She understands because she has the same passion. Well, maybe not the exact same, but, uh, you know, the crafty, crafty bugs. And my friend Janet understands. And those are my homies. But we're not around each other that often. And we're both, we're all grown. We got kids and some of us have grandkids, you know, you feel me? <laughs> and, uh. We're just busy with life, and it can be lonely sometimes. You feel like you're you're going through things by yourself, and, you know, your husband or wife could be sweet as pie, but it doesn't mean that they get it or that they understand because they are also going through stuff. And, you, you know, you're an adult. You get it, I'm sure. Everybody has their own crap, and this is so good. It's just good for my soul. You feel me? You feel me on that? I know someone feels me. Say amen, sister. Okay, let's see. I just found this, and I think it's awesome. I'm going to do it. I love it. Cute, cute, cute. I think it's cute anyways. I'm doing it. And with that, we have an adorable little... Uh, I, I think I'm going to do it halfway up. Well, as far as it'll go. Oh my gosh, I just squeezed out half the dang, the dang glue. I almost cussed. I got carried away with my cuss words. I'm sorry. I think I said hell and almost damn in one video. I feel awful. And you know what I just did? Because I'm a D-A, a D-A-M-N fool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, I'm being silly. But I was going to make this a pocket and I just glued it all the way down. Silly rabbit. Silly rabbit. Okay. That's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. I might still be able to make it work. Just do that. There we go. I'm going to cut this right there. Am I even in frame? I sure hope so. There we go. I keep checking because I move around a lot. That's a little weird, but that's okay. Let's see if we can still fit our picture in there. First of all, I want to do the pocket or the pockets, the corners. I also forgot this. One more thing. And then we'll call it a night. I suck at this. I'm going to try it again. I meant to put this these lines on before, but I'm going to try to do it right now. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. That I don't look like an idiot. Oh my gosh. I have a bad feeling about this. 
But this is it. I gotta go. So let's see what happens. Oof, I'm scared. I, now this, you should definitely do this before you do anything else. This is just me doing what I do. Making mistakes and rolling with it. <laughs> Trying to do, I wanted them, I'm putting them in. So I'm going to try to make it work. Oh my god, this could be such a disaster. Oh no, not in that. <laughs> I do not have a good feeling about this. I think I ruined everything. Oh god, what did I do? What have I done? No, I'm just kidding. What I'm going to do is, shit, I'm going to slide this tag right there, because I don't want it to go all the way onto my lace, or my rick rack. Oh, God. I definitely messed it up, but that's okay. What did you do? Okay, that's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought. It's actually not as bad as I thought. It's okay. I can deal with that. It didn't work very good. <laughs> Gail, how does she do that so perfectly? Dang, girl. I guess I have too many little fuzzies on mine. I don't know. That's okay. At least I didn't wreck anything, like, over here. I'm cool with that. I'm so good with that. It looks okay. And then how about we just do a little bit on here, and then we'll be golden, and we will just say goodbye, say goodbye. I'm going to put some yellow on here, I think. No, that would be crazy, girl. What are you, crazy? You losing it, girlfriend. How about... I need to do something fun. Um, I'm going to go with this. I don't know what this is, but we're going to do it. Oh. oh, yeah. Cool. I like it. These stamps are funny. These Kelly stamps, they look nothing like the color on the... Oops, look what I just did when I talked. Holy mackerel. Oh, for the love of Pete, look what I just did. I thought I had my tissue... <laughs> my rag. Okay, that's a sure sign that I have to get the heck out of here, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. It's okay. I'm not even mad. I love it. It's okay. <laughs> there's no there's no fixing that. I just went crazy. It was an accident, but that's all right. I got 10 more of these, so that's okay. I'll put a new one in when I cut it out. So, don't mind that. It'll be a new card. I got another one. I'll put a brand new one in. It'll be fresh to death. So, what do you think? For the not planned out, this can be taken off and then journaled on. That can be journaled on like that. And then there's our pocket that I literally flew by the seat of my pants on. Literally. Uh, but it's not so bad. It's cute. Or you could put this right in here. There we go. Look how cute that is. Adorable. Adorable. Easiest pie, and that was just a book that was uh, going in the trash. That's some scrap lace, scrap piece of, um, I keep forgetting what that's called. It's cotton, but, you know, it's called something and I forgot. S scrap piece of cotton, an old, used, revived stamp. We got our Christie Art Design. Um... You could, oh my god, I can't talk. Is this like, I would make this a blooper if I edited my videos. <laughs> my Christy Art Design Digital. Oh my god, I'm going. Uh, we have our little coffee dyed and inked. Doily. <laughs> we have our trim. Our Rick Rack. Trim. And then we have our little sheer madness from Mrs. Coggs. And then we did that with our, which could be better, uh, with our corrugated cardboard. And then we just have our avocado dyed envelope that I'll probably just glue in and make it a flip out. Or you could put it in with the paper clip. There you go. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. And I am, in Gail's words, bumbling. I'm a bumbling crafter, but I'll have to come up with a new name because we can't jock hers. 
Ugh, I'm just ridiculous is what I am. I'm a mama who needs sleep. I hope your day is beautiful. I hope you enjoy yourselves. I hope with all this craziness and me forgetting every other word that you maybe learned something or at least had fun laughing at me. I hope everybody has a blessed day and I really, really, really hope that you subscribe, you like, and more importantly that you come back and see me again. Mwah. I love you all. Thank <laughs> you.